ओके नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिराइव वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर द पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट फॉर दिस सर्किट बेसिकली पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट इज गिवेन एस v by l where v corresponds to the total potential difference across the potentiometer uh, wire of length capital l okay so this is basically volts per meter this is the unit of uh, potential gradient is volts per meter now um, let us assume that the current which is passing through this wire through the circuit is i okay so v can be written as i into r okay v is the voltage between the points a and b so the corresponding resistance between the points a and b is r so we have substituted in place of v by using ohm's law as v uh, v equals to ir now here uh, you can observe here is that if uh, the total current okay the total current which is passing through the circuit is because of this source of emf e okay and uh, if we we'll apply ohm's law in this primary circuit in the whole circuit we can see that there are three resistors internal resistance a variable resistor and the resistance of the potentiometer wire Okay, and all these resistors are connected in series. So the total resistance would be the summation of these two. Uh, this total resistor would be the summation of these three resistors. Okay. Now I, as per Ohm's law, I is given as V by R. Okay. So in this case, the current is because of this EMF. Okay. So in this case, we can write that the current which is flowing th uh, through the circuit is E divided by the total resistance. The total resistance of the circuit is R plus small R plus R H. Okay. So this is the value of the current which is passing through the circuit. So we, in place of the current, we can write it as E, divided by R plus R H, R by L. Okay. So this is the expression for the potential gradient. Okay. Uh, we could, we can have uh, also written it uh, in terms of uh, specific resistance for the resistance, uh, for uh, specific resistivity of the resistance. Like R could have been written as rho L upon A divided by L. so this could have also been written as i rho upon a okay so even these uh, this expression can be used to determine the value of the potential gradient okay so um, from here we can see that the potential gradient is dependent upon the emf of the cell okay and it also depends upon the internal resistance of the cell okay so uh, we can uh, see uh, we can observe from here that that the parameters on which the potential gradient is uh, depending is actually the parameters of the primary uh, circuit okay so if we want to change the potential gradient of the circuit we can change the primary circuit parameters okay uh, now uh, based on this potential gradient just to get an idea of uh, how potential gradient uh, how helpful potential gradient is uh, we can uh, do some uh, examples based on this potential gradient uh, the examples on uh, how to determine the value of the potential gradient okay
so in this example uh, the resistivity of a potentiometer wire is given as 40 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter and its area of cross section is 8 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square if 0.2 ampere current is flowing through the wire the potential gradient will be okay so for a potentiometer wire we have the uh, potential gradient given as k equals to v by l okay now here since uh, the parameter is given in terms of current and resistivity and area of cross section what we can do is we can write uh, from ohm's law v is i times r upon l okay so if we will substitute for r in terms of resistivity specific resistance and area of cross section we can get it as i rho l upon capital a divided by the length of the potentiometer wire so this gives us i rho upon a okay so from this expression we know the value of the current the current is which is passing through the circuit is 0.2 amperes the resistivity given to us is 40 into 10 to the power minus uh, 8 ohm meter divided by the area of cross section the area of cross section given to us is 8 into 10 to the power minus 6 okay so if we will solve for this expression uh, solve for this equation we will be getting a value of potential gradient as uh, 10 to the power of minus 2 volt per meter Okay. So this is the value of the potential gradient, okay, which we can observe for this circuit, for this potentiometer wire. Okay. Uh, now, uh, after this example, uh, we can uh, study the application of potentiometer. Okay. That is uh, application one uh, one of the application wherein we will be determining or we will be comparing the EMF of cells. Okay. We will be having two cells and we will be comparing their EMFs. Okay. 